collectors! I'm Collectible Girl and I'll be showing you a few things I picked up over the years working at a collectible store. So to start off, something pretty recent, the Marvel Infinite Legends series, also known as just Marvel Legends series, uh, I have the six inch here Scarlet Witch from the comic books universe. She has detachable magic circles, a very nice articulation, uh, wrist joints, elbows, ankles, knees, uh, hips, uh, they don't move but the torso uh, moves there. We got the wiggle. Um, she's got a very beautiful hair sculpt and they got rid of that icky icky neck joint that they were using in the earlier Marvel Legends. Like what were they thinking? Um, she's a little difficult to stand because her ankles are pretty articulate. She can, you can literally give her the, the weirdest angle on her heels here. Heels also very hard to walk in in real life. Uh, the paint job is quite good. The sculpt on the face is quite good. Um, I'm really surprised that they really upped their notch on their female figures, which is a blessing really because their older figures were not very good at all. Um, I say she's a very good likeness to the comic books. The cape is beautifully sculpted. It it looks like drop, draping cloth. It's not, you know, half-assed, you know. Very beautiful, very beautiful six-inch finger here. So let's get a close-up of her there. very beautiful figure very happy with it just wish it came with a stand now my favorite marvel girl of all time i have the black cat previous figures of the black cat have been pretty terrible they give her ponytails which is only seen i think one time in the comic books i think michael dobson's uh artistic interpretation of her wasn't very frilled with the ponytail look, but it, it wasn't terrible. There's been really terrible interpretations of the Black Cat's costume, particularly her around her early 90s era when it got all kind of heavy metal and perm. That was yikes. Like, if you think this bust line is low, talk about bust line to the belly button low and you have a low bust line. <laughs> terrible figure. Um, the old Marvel Legends Black Cat, not uh, the previous in the Infinite series, had this terrible neck joint, a terrible straight cut to the bangs. I'm not sure if she ever even had that hairstyle. Um, the hair was just, did not have the curl and bounce and flow that Black Cat does in the comic books. I myself am an old, old school Black Cat fan. I had, my very first comic book was the Black Cat versus Spider-Man when they first met. And her outfit was actually quite conservative. Um, it went up to her neck. And she had this like collar and this white material. There was no no neckline at all like this. Um, they added the neckline a little later. And it progressively got lower and lower and lower until it went to her navel. And then they brought it back up again. But they also increased the bust size. And the voluptuousness that she had just come boom. Um... She comes with a grappling hook. Uh, she holds it in this hand here, not the other hand which I was holding it at. It's a pretty nice curve to the grappling hook. Uh, she's actually pretty difficult to stand. Her ankles are pretty wonky like Scarlet Witch's. Um, her hair sculpt is very pleasing to the eye. Uh, I'm going to be nitpicky because I'm an old school Black Cat fan and just say that the cut, it kind of has this blue wash in between the cracks. It's to give the hair kind of like texture and it does look really good from a distance but up close it looks like someone dumped Kool-Aid on her white wig. Uh, blue Kool-Aid. Uh, the bust line is very low. Uh, it does have that little zipper hook deal going on. Her claws are sharp and curved, which is to the comic books. Uh, here's her ankles. You'll see what I mean about like positioning ankles. They can be a little finicky. So standing here can be a little bit of a task. A little bow-legged sometimes, but you can get her standing. Uh, she falls over too easy. I would have really liked the Marvel Infinite Universe to include stands, especially with their female characters. Won't stay up in their heels. 
Um, I'm quite happy with it. It doesn't have the awful neck joint, as I mentioned a hundred times before. Totally ruined the previous figures. They also got rid of um, the the abdomen joint. Yikes! That that really ruined the flow of the figure itself. So I'm actually quite happy with this figure. Just wish they made a, they would make an old school black cat with the higher neckline because we we don't need to see all that. <laughs> You know? Next, I have the Captain Marvel, the recent Captain Marvel. Uh, hopefully, this is the Carol Danvers we'll be seeing in the movies. So, here she is. She comes with a detachable power punch attachment. I would like to call it that. Um, she has nice straight do. You know, like she's been in the wind. Uh, she's got great joints, just like all the previous ones, like wrist, elbow, you know, shoulder, ankle, everything, right? She is. The one uh, problem I have with her is since she's got her hands in a fist, there's not really many poses you could do with her. I mean, you could kind of put her fists on her hips or position her like she's gonna like she's you know tough punch um or like she's about to punch but not really more options besides that just kind of a punching motion so she also comes with a swappable head so the swappable head i have over here i've uh decided to keep it in the box so i don't lose the piece um it's her mohawk with the mask on it's pretty cool but I, I do prefer her with the mask off, just because it's preference. Um, then next here, I have the Marvel Legends Infinite Black Widow, 6 inch, of course, uh, from the movies. So there we are, Scarlett Johansson. Like, this is pretty darn good. Um, the hair is beautiful sculpt. Uh, a lot of previous sculpts of Marvel Legends hair has been terrible. She comes with uh, side arms on her side hips there, uh, but the side arms do not come out. So you can't have her holding her side arms. I mean, you could probably customize her by, you know, handing her a gun from a different action figure that you know, she could hold. Um, this hand is, is a holding hand, so she could definitely hold something with a trigger figure. Um, I usually just kind of position her like this so she looks like she's going for her gun and she's like, be reasonable. <laughs> So, the sculpt on her, quite nice. Um, not sure if I really like, kind of like, um, the, 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 what's the point of having, like, really of a torso twist if the outfit has, like, a line like that, uh, the upper torso there, because if you just turn her at all, it doesn't look right. So, there's no real point to having it. This, uh, I guess you can make her look down slightly and up slightly, but the, the difference is not very big. Um... So there she is. Grab a symbol. She's easier to stand than the other ones because she has a very flat heel to her boot. But still, they do fall over pretty easily. Next, I have Arachnia. And she doesn't come with any accessories, just like kind of Black Widow does. Um, She's not really a accessory character anyway. She's kind of more of a martial arts melee character. She doesn't really carry weapons of any sort. Um, she is very flat heels, so she's actually quite easy to stand. But again, she has no actual display stand, so she does fall over quite easily. Um, biggest disappointment for me is no stands. Uh, face sculpt is pretty nice. It's got the ponytail. Very nice. Again, when you got a line for the middle of the costume, there's not really much you can do with the, tor the upper torso. Um, she doesn't really have many options for um, posing, I guess. I would prefer if she came with like maybe some switchable hands so you can maybe, maybe use some pegs on it so you could put her on maybe one of those action figure stands that have wall peggings for like climbing action figures like Spider-Man of course 
Um, that would have been really cool if they made her a ticklet so you could make her pose like she's climbing better. I, it just just doesn't quite pull it off. I think she's more of a kind of a better pose like that because of the goal of the climbing they do. So then I have the Marvel Legends Infinite Wasp from the comic book. Really looking forward to the Wasp in the movies. I'm hoping that if they do kill off Captain America and they need a new le uh, leader for the Avengers, that I'm hoping, really hoping they would put Wasp in charge of the new MCU Avengers team. She was previously in the comic books the leader of the Avengers before. She was very tough, very clever. Um, she, she is a genius in her own right, and she is... She just kicks butt, and there's no reason why we can't have a female team leader. I mean, we're never probably going to see Storm lead the X-Men. Everyone just forgets that she was leader of the X-Men before Cyclops. Cyclops, kind of a douche. So, anyway, back on the subject of the Marvel Infinite figures. Her wings do open and close, uh, rotate up and down. Uh, they do rotate backwards too, which is a nice touch. So you can put her in pr pretty articulate wings there. They do pop out. That's how they go together. You get them the package uh, disassembled. I mean, you have to pop them in. Big ones first, small ones second. Um, there's the back view of the wings there. Very nice detail. Clear wings. Very nice. There's her face there. Her hair. I'm not that thrilled with her face I mean she, she looks a little you know what's the word I'm looking for kind of like narrow it's a little narrow her face but I'm still actually quite happy with it the, the paint job on the eyes is amazing um, you have to be pretty picky about sometimes the Marvel if it's paint jobs especially on the costume if you can look very closely there there is um, Kind of a little bit of a paint mistake. Uh, kind of like they went back and they painted black over a part that they messed up and didn't quite get it evenly. So she is very actually easy to stand because of the flat foot. But yet again, a stand would have been nice for this action figure just to hold it up because of the heavy wings. Um, quite like her hand display. It, the pose is kind of very classic of her. Kind of... A reaching look. Very happy. Uh, the joints and all these figures are pretty stiff, uh, but they're poseable. You just have to have some patience. Now, I do have a, a three and a quarter inch uh, Marvel Infinite Legends. And she is quite tiny because you know, we all know the Wasp does shrink. Um, I'm a little confused how they made an action figure like this with only two. Let's see here. Wing fell out. They do fall out actually kind of easily, these wings. But all the action figures are different. And maybe the pegs fit better on others. So she only has two wings instead of the four wing spread that she had before. Um, her hand is the open look, but one is fisted. Like she's about to punch. Her hair is longer. Like she, this figure was made a little later in the comic book series. You know when her her hair maybe grown out or something. Let's see, the articulation on this is pretty much the exact same, I believe. Yeah, uh, except for the neck joint. They use that neck joint that I have been complaining about. It kind of ruins I think the feel of the figure when the neck is upwards because you can see it more but downwards you, you can pretend it's not there it's just kind of ruins the flow um, she is not hard to stand she's actually quite fun to display because you can do her and kind of a, a pixie-ish pose pretty easily I like to keep her uh, usually next to my six inch so you can see the, the vast size difference between these. Yeah, bit of a color difference in the wings a little bit. A little bit. And there we go. So I hope you guys like this video. Just kind of showing you a little of the stuff I have. Uh, more to come.